Hello and welcome to my latest laser project. Today I went online and bought a laser diode. Instead of using one from a DVD burner, I want to see how good these store-bought ones are. So this one comes with its own data sheet, it's got a nice graph comparing current against power, and with my new laser driver circuit, I'm going to be putting it about here. So we'll end up with about 250 milliwatts. First thing we're going to do is drill some holes in our cases. This is for the switch, and we'll also need to drill one for the Axis laser housing. When you've done that, we need to put our laser diode into our nice copper Axis housing. So again, I'll put links for all these inside the video description. We're going to cut open our nice anti-static packaging it comes in. And here's our laser diode. Now it looks considerably different to the ones you find in DVD burners. Well, most of the ones you find in DVD burners, I understand these actually do appear in a few. You can see for one, the pins are a lot longer than you find in a DVD burner. But it also, it's a lot more open at the front end. It's not just a simple lens and everything behind it. It's actually more open, you can touch it. Not that I would recommend that. Now to put it into our Axis copper housing, we're going to turn our other side of it upside down, make sure all the pins are inside, pull it on the top and place it into a nice vise and slowly tighten until your diode is in place. And once you've got all that done, you need to take your positive and negative from your driver circuit. This isn't the standard driver circuit, I've added three resistors instead of two to the LM317 circuit. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll link some videos in the description. And you can see on the data sheet, it comes with a nice pinout, so you'll never be confused. Now again, here's my trick for soldering to diodes. I think this is quite a good trick to spread around. Make sure you don't cook your diode. So take some needle nose pliers, wrap the wire around it, tighten it up a little bit more afterwards, so you end up with a nice loop like this, and then take some solder from your soldering iron and literally just spread it over the loop. Now you've got to get it to stick to the loop, which is the hardest part. So you end up with this, and then place it on top of one of your pins, which with these longer ones is quite difficult, and heat it up and slide it down. Make sure it's towards the bottom, you want to save as much space as possible. And it's done. You've soldered your wire to your diode. So we'll do a quick test. Now we're all soldered up. And, well, the results speak for themselves. The laser clearly works, and it's clearly powerful. So now we're going to seal everything all back up. So put all your screws in. So we now have a nice new laser to play with. What do we do with it first? Obviously, we've got to see what it burns. So we've got some matches. Don't forget you've got to pen your match. The reason it's red is because it's reflecting red light. If you add more red light, then it's just more red. You're not really going to get any light absorbed. So I'm just using a black permanent marker. And we're going to take our laser and see if it lights. Uh, of course, the answer is yes. We've got about 250 milliwatt laser here, according to the data sheet. And of course, if it lights a match, it's going to have no problem with electrical tape sitting on a matchbox. And of course, with this laser being so powerful, it earns my very nice seal of approval with a very tricky sticker. I'm not going to lie to you, this sticker took a lot to get undone. I've had to fast forward the video for you. So whilst I've got some time, I'm going to mention I put some videos in the description for you, telling you why I'm using three resistors instead of just two, and how to build the driver circuit. But now my sticker is open, we're going to clean the surface, and we're going to stick it down. We have a brand new 250 milliwatt laser. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.